It was a couple of a couple of days and a week or so that it was a bit down, but um, you know we kept believing, and even after the defeat at Leicester, there was a bit more, you know, more positive around the place because we felt that we were back to you know doing what we do well, just unlucky, and then um, you know it came together last weekend, and I think we can see light at the end of the tunnel now, and all the good things we've done, all the hard work that we've put in and training is, is coming together in the games. There was lots of criticism about the number of players used and the inconsistent selection, but it's just bedding down a little bit now, isn't it? I guess you guys probably know your roles a bit better. Yeah, and um, you know the, the gaffers pointed out that you know if you're doing well, you stay in the team. So um, there was no no one could have really justified staying in the team and the, the run we had because nobody really pulled up trees. But you know the lads that are in there now have got the shirts, and it's up to them to you know to lose them really. Have you been mentioning your winner at the Medeski Stadium? Because of the squad here, you're the one who's most recently scored a winner at the Medeski Stadium. Yeah, I know, but um, you know that's part of the the run that keeps getting mentioned on the losing run. So I don't, I don't want to bring it up really and, and, and talk too much about it because yeah, we want to put it to the back of our minds and we've got a great chance now to uh, to go Saturday and, and you know put that to bed. And I think once that's put to bed, um, you know we've said it before that the gaffer keeps saying it we've done the hardest thing we, we keep getting results and winning away from home it's um it's getting results at home if we turn that into a fortress i don't see why we can march up that league is there a feeling this is it you, you've got to the end of this run but you've got the best chance now to turn it around that you've had probably all season i think so and I, um, but we spoke about that after preston um and we didn't do it so we can talk about it as much as we want and there's only one thing we can do is go out on the pitch saturday and win the game what about ipswich because i think they've surprised a lot of people with a very slow start to the season bar last weekend it's similar to us, you know. It's a, it's a big club, um, a lot of change, new manager, a lot of new players. Um, but you know, I think that, that they will come good. We just got to make sure that you know we uh, impose ourselves on them and make sure you know that we're the top team. The fact there's an international break following this weekend does it make it all the more important to, to record back-to-back wins for the first time? I think so. Yeah, if you can get back-to-back, and also I think you know with that win, it it will. You know, propel us up that league a bit more and get us back in touch with uh, sort of the chasing pack. I mean, the uh, with a bad start, the idea is now to you know come Christmas be in touch and distance and you know in the, the top half of the table. And um, yeah, I'm sure with the squad we've got here, we can kick on and uh, you know mount a challenge. Quick word about Sheffield United because obviously uh, you must watch their results and you've been probably uh, rather startled by their recent run of form. Um, yeah, but I think what it is is they've got a certain way of playing. Um, and teams have maybe come become accustomed to it, and um, you know, I, you know, I think they were unlucky. I watched the game Monday night. I think they were unlucky not to get a result. But um, you know, things will change. Will change there. So that's another massive club. But um, you know, hopefully, because I'm still good friends with a lot of the lads, that, that they'll turn it around and do well. Who do you see being at the top of the championship come next May? <sighs> well, you got you can't look past you know your West Broms and Newcastle's. Um, yeah, maybe Middlesbrough. I think Gordon Strachan. Uh, no, no, I'm well. Sadly, met Southampton. I think he'll go in there and he'll do a good job there. So they, you know, with the squads they've got, they'll be up there. And then the rest is for the taking. You know, um, even you, know, you mentioned us and Ipswich. I've had bad starts. I don't see why you can't go and run this team. And you know, as you know, recent, uh, previous years have shown, the team that's on the best form in the season going to the playoffs, as I found out firsthand last year, um, you know, usually does well. So. You know, that's, that's the aim. I know it's a, a lot to ask, but I think we should be asking that of each other at this club. Thanks, Brian. Good luck on Saturday. Cheers. Thank you. Well, what's Thanks. planned for the, uh, for the international break at the club for people who are left behind? Um, just uh, a bit of reflecting, a bit of um, you know, resting, because it, it's been a lot of games, and just um, you know, get it, resting little knocks, little injuries, and uh, really we're preparing for the the big Christmas period that will be coming up on the back of it because as you know November's not too bad but then there's probably about 20 games there usually is in December so uh, we'll just be getting ready for that making sure that your bodies are, are refreshed and uh, everyone's fit and ready to go for, for the you know the big um, the big Christmas period. Have you looked too far ahead at the fixture list because obviously when you come back from the this break there's a black ball option, which is obviously this plan, that's a, that's a winnable game surely. I think you look at this um, this league and you look at it and you don't think there's not a winnable game but then also there's not a well that's a guaranteed win and that's the great thing about the championship and uh, and that's why everyone beats everyone every week and that's why you know and we're not allowed to but I'd never ever bet on a championship game because you can never call it so uh, you know that's why we're all confident that we can still do and achieve something this season because we look at it and you think that we could win there's a chance of winning every single game you know we won't win every single game but there's a chance 
and uh, so you don't want to disrespect any team because as soon as you do that then that's when you get turned over in this league but you know, we look at the fixtures and it's the old cliche I will we'll take one game at a time and uh, you know hopefully Saturday we'll re record back to back wins and then like you say the international break we can then sit down look at the next two or three games and say right if we can pick up so many points you know then, then we can kick on up that league and for yourself personally, you mean, are you fit and healthy? Yeah, I've um, got a couple of little knocks, but you know, this, this football you, you want to play, so you know, I'll be uh, chewing on the painkillers, getting through it, and then hopefully in the national break, be able to uh, be able to rest up and be flying for, like I said, the busy period coming after. You um, yes. touched on the impressive away form, uh, Brian. Uh, what do you think about treating Saturday as an away game? Uh, that's been mentioned, staying in a hotel maybe. And yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's a funny one. I, I can't believe that. You know the record, and um, you know obviously some of the lads here, like myself, haven't been there for for the whole period. No. But it's even from you know the start of the season, not winning at home is criminal. Um, so I don't really know that that could be a way to play it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, I, I, it, it's it's bizarre. I mean, you've scored twice. I think the team scored twice in seven home games. It's uh, you know for a side that used to be so strong at home as well. It's, uh, it's yeah, a strange one, it, it is. It is a strange one, and I think nobody can really put their finger on no. it because it's not as if the performances have been really um, really poor at home. Mm. You know, you, if you look at some games, the games that I've since I've been here, you look at Watford, which we should have won. Yeah. Doncaster probably should have won. Cardiff should have won. Mm. Uh, the other night against yeah, Leicester, yeah. you should have won. So I don't know what it is. I think it's you know breaking that duck. And as soon as getting in front in the game, and I think we've got the um, sort of the passion and the know how to see out a game now. Yeah. I think that's what we've we've worked on, and uh, I think once we do that, I think we'll do it Saturday. I'm fully confident we'll win the game Saturday. Put that record to bed. Everyone can stop talking about it, yeah. and then we'll, we'll start looking up that table. Will the crowd have a part to play at the end of the day? I mean, it's easy for them to become frustrated. And yeah, it's, it's we understand goal. that. We understand that as, as players. But um, you know, every time there is a, a jeer or a boo or a, it, it does affect us. Mm. It, it does get on the back. But you know, we we can't say. Oh, don't do it because that you know the fans are what we're about. So while we're out there, we're playing for them. Yeah. Um, they pay their money, their hard earned money at the moment, you know, to to come and watch us, and they expect things to happen. So we've got to make sure we can happen. But you know, it is another one of the old cliches. They can be the twelfth man, and uh, you know, it's a tight ground where the atmosphere can be good. I played here when the atmosphere is good. So if they get right behind us, I'm sure they can push us forward for that win. Don't want to rub it in anymore or anything, but after last night, uh, West Ham winning at home, Reading are now the only club in the Football League without a win at home. I mean, I guess that must be more into some the squad to go out and get that. Ask me at five o'clock Saturday, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we'll see if we still are. And uh, a fan just asked me to ask: um, now that James Harper's gone to Sheffield United, he was seen as the big joker in the club. Right. I mean, who's who's kind of taking up that role right now as a as a practical joke and everything in the progressing? Um, there's a few characters. Probably Hunty's probably the craziest one. Uh, I don't think he's all there. Um, <laughs> But uh, I don't know. There's a there's a few good characters in in the club. Um, I, I'm renting uh, Harp's house off him, so I know he's got a bit of banter. I was, I was chatting to him yesterday, and uh, so he's uh, having a bit of banter. I gave him a bit of banter, saying, "What have you done to Sheffield United since you've gone there? They've been crap, sort of thing." And uh, he, he was saying you know, different things, so uh, I can tell he's good, but probably Hunty. <laughs>